think the best thing right now would be use the stick. The giant stick. Poke at it. Good morning everybody. So today has been a pretty lazy day so far, but I need to step it up because we have a lot of stuff to do. Because today is the last day that I have without Patrick home that I can get things done for Father's Day. So first things first, our Father's Day tradition includes doing his daddy book, which means I need to ask Ellie some questions and get her answers for this year. It started out when she was three and it's a list of questions that I write down her answers and every year it's gonna change her answers change every year and they're always super adorable and this year she's six which is crazy but anyway this year she's six and it goes I think it, I think I made it until she goes until she's 18 and then once Finn is three I'll make his own book that is gonna be from him to his dad too What's daddy's favorite thing to say? I love you. I have to go clean my room. I feel like a teenager saying that, and I'm going to I'm going to be totally honest with you guys. Okay. So, growing up, my room was always always a mess. Always. I mean, a, a royal mess, like terrible, like junk up to your knees, a mess. Then at some point, probably like when I was 21, I just became like this really clean person really really clean like everything just always was in its place it was right after I got married and I was home and I was taking care of the house and I everything was clean everything and I took a lot of pride in that and I was very meticulous and it was very clean the last probably about year or so probably since this one's been born it has not happened like that <laughs> And now it is a total mess. Always wondered growing up how, okay, so even whenever I had a messy room, I had a messy room because I had a lot of toys and I played a lot and I didn't really have a lot of toys, but I had toys and I played a lot and I played in my room and whatever and I hung out in my room. My parents were never in their room and I never understood how their room got so messy all the time whenever they were never in there and I never got that. And now I understand. I get it because I'm never in my bedroom anymore unless I'm sleeping and my room is a disaster so I am sorry mom and dad for judging you because I totally get it and I now totally understand why there was piles of laundry everywhere I totally understand and I'm sorry and it does not excuse the fact that I have piles of laundry all over my room that just have never made it to the laundry room um, but it just, ugh, I need to go clean my room. It's disgusting. It's not actually disgusting. It's really just piles of laundry. Like, I have three piles of laundry that need to make it to the laundry room. And some boxes that need to be put away. It's really, 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 it's probably a lot more than that. <laughs> oh, well. I need to go clean my room. That's what I need to do. Good evening, guys. So, I don't know if Jill covered with y'all, but last week we had a possum that was dead in our backyard. Today, the trash ran and they didn't pick up the possum. So I had to go dispose of the possum myself. So I'm not gonna say how I disposed of the possum, but there's another possum in our yard. Way back there, I don't know if you can see. He's ran away. He saw me and knew better, I guess. Hmm. I guess he knew better. I had to dispose of the possum. Not gonna say how I did it or where it may be now. Let's not over here. It's just all that matters to me. But it did involve me putting it in my car. So my car smells really bad. But anyways, I did get rid of it, and it is now gone. 
There's the other possum. Oh, there he is. Look, right there. There he is. So now I have to somehow figure out how to get this possum out and not have it come into my yard and die. So needless to say, I think the best thing right now would be use the stick. This giant stick. Poke at it. Startled. It's progress. There's stick and go. No. Go, possum, go. Be gone. So it looks like I may have successfully scared it off enough to not be here. Still see it. Have to figure out something. Let's get rid of it. Let me take care of that. The camera died last night. Dog got rid of the possum. We forgot to end the vlog, so I'm gonna end it for y'all. If you like today's vlog, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye, or today.